No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. And today I'm reunited with my man Chris Travis. You know, bankroll Rico with him in the building. You did. He got some dreads now. Uh, Long as. And then my man Trey Bands, who does not have a mic, but we're going to make the best of it. Yes, sir. Let's go. So, all right, let, let's start this interview. We can maybe we could, we could maybe do some uh, Raider Clan talk at some point, but let's start yeah, the okay. interview like around when I met you guys in like 2015, when you guys were posted up in Bones' this fucking uh, what was it a garage? garage. Or, yeah, yeah. yeah, we was in the garage. Yep. You, uh-huh. And I thought you guys were the craziest, most foul dudes I ever met in my life because you had the <laughs> blunt guts all over the ground. Blunt guts <laughs> everywhere on the ground, everywhere around. We all sleeping in that just sleeping in filth around that bitch. Bro. Yeah, we was just. Making music in the garage and shit, like, like that shit was, you know what I'm saying? And it, and it, it was crazy because I had never encountered rappers who were, like, that raw and just, yeah. like, really doing it, like, punk rock as fuck, didn't care yeah, about yeah. having crazy nice clothes and nothing. Like, y'all were young as fuck, just, like... Young as fuck. It, it was, like, the most punk rock shit, and it was, like, the perfect way for me to, like, start doing content with rappers and shit just because it was something so different that I had never experienced in terms of being into in, into rap. I remember my first Sesha All Water Boy show was, like, 500 people, 400 people crammed yeah. into a warehouse, hot as fuck. Facts. Like, no stage, just straight doing it on the ground. The shit was legendary. Hell yeah, bro. Bro, I remember you literally being in the garage saying like you was gonna do this shit. You feel me? <laughs> I remember that shit and like you you took it like all the way up. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I remember it, that shit, bro. Like I remember us all being in the garage when you first came over there. That's when we, we was all recording in the in the studio, yeah, smoking smoking blunts and all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? And and we, where was your mentality at? At that time, because that's kind of like the Raider Clan thing had blown up in yeah. your face. And how I always saw you guys was that, like, you all sort of came together to make the most of what you had kind of, like, because you had, like, sort of a glimmer of this Raider Clan thing being big, and yeah. then it didn't work out. But you guys were like, fuck it, we're going to all stick together and make something out of it. Yeah, hell yeah. See, my mentality was, like, I was on some shit where it was like, see... I wasn't trying to go back to Memphis, you feel me? Mm. So I wasn't trying to go back to Memphis. So I was like, I gotta take this shit up. And like, and we was all like we was we was we was all we was just all like doing music. We ain't know like we was gonna do what we did, but like it was just all organic, you feel me? So it was it was all of us just making songs in the garage, bro. Like the I never knew like the song, even the songs that I made that blew up and shit, I ain't never know they was gonna blow up. I ain't never know. Like, none of that shit was going to happen. Because, like, Crunch Time was a freestyle, right? Yeah, Crunch Time was a freestyle, bro. And I was like, bro, that, to, to be honest, bro, that shit wasn't even mixed right or none. Like, I ain't mixed or mastered. That a shit lot was, of songs from that yeah, era. Yeah, from that era was not mixed, mastered, or none. That shit was recorded on GarageBand. I show say straight yeah. Garage Band. Yeah, drop. straight Garage Band. Straight Garage, garage Band this Garage shit. Band in the garage, you feel me? <laughs> so, like, yeah, so, like, like but, but that was, like, the rawness of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that's the rawness of this shit. Like that's how you got kids nowadays. Like they can just record in their bedroom and shit. Mm-hmm. And you know what I'm saying? And that really be the rawness of how to like the the feel of the fucking songs and shit be like without going to a professional studio and shit and like laying shit down. How would you describe like the friendship though? Like were you guys really super close or what what like how how close were you during that time period? Yeah, yeah. I'm mean, yeah, we was co- I was always like we we was all we was close like um me, we was always close and shit, like, everybody, but everybody was still, like, doing their own shit, like, I'll have my time in the garage where I'm I'm making my music and I'm doing whatever I do, man, Bones or, or Eddie or Wolf, one of them, they'll be gone somewhere, you know what I'm saying, doing their own shit, and then I'll be gone somewhere, they come in the garage, record, so everybody was on their own shit. But like you know, what I'm saying when we once we came together, and that's what made the shit so big, cause like we all had our own fan bases, mm-hmm. like from the like from the jump, but like 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 coming from the Raider Clan fan base and shit. But you know what I'm saying, like everybody was doing their own shit. So me, I was like, I was just on some shit where it was like, man, like I'm, a, I just really want to like make this take this shit up, like from from California. You know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. like. Cause I ain't trying to go back to Memphis. I ain't trying to go back to the trenches. Like I ain't trying to go back to Memphis. I got. We just gotta make this shit. So we all like, and what you know, what I'm saying we was on the same shit. Cause we was out here. We we came out here on the same shit. You know what I'm saying? So everybody was just doing their own thing. And then once we got all got together and like all our fan bases came together, 
that's what made the shit so big and, and like how you see like how we had warehouses packed out with kids like and i always thought it was super crazy. smart because i mean something like what i remember seeing you guys play a rolling loud in um the ie or whatever one year oh yeah and yeah, yeah. It, it was like you guys were, were slotted high up main stage Bro. huge crowd and shit realistically none of you guys were going to be able to book be booked for that that level in the in the show yourself but you guys all come together and are able to like do a lot of shit that you wouldn't be able to do otherwise which i always thought was like a very good model for rappers like you know exactly. if you know come together people people are more attracted to the idea of a group to a certain extent but exactly. in a lot of a lot of ways did you feel like a group because you guys barely like did songs together at all like some, see, the, certain people did songs together but a yeah, lot of people didn't of, really but we did but like that's the thing though like you know what i'm saying we we all like everybody was on their own shit you feel me for like from the jump like we all we did when we came together and did songs that's that shit was organic you know what i'm saying <laughs> but at the same time like we will feed off each other energy because like you know what i'm saying we will feed like if i'm in there making a mixtape Eddie or Zay, like, like they'll come in, like, I gotta, I gotta make a mistake too. I gotta, I gotta, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was on some shit like that. But I ain't like, I've, I, I will be going back and forth to Memphis, you know what I'm saying? I'll be going back and forth to Memphis because I feel like me being in Cali and shit so long, I gotta go back to Memphis and get that inspiration, you feel me? And go back to like, you know what I'm saying? And get that inspiration and come back out here or like record in Memphis. Just get that feel, you know what I'm saying? And like, then come back out here in Cali, you know what I'm saying, drop some shit, do some shows, whatever, you know what I'm saying? But I just feel like if I stayed out here in Cali and just, like, I don't know, my sound kind of, like, switched up and shit, but, like, I just feel like my sound would be, like, different. Mm. But I, I still got to keep my Memphis roots because that's where I'm from, so. Right, definitely. When when did, uh like, when did you start to feel like there was some kind of strain between the group because it it sort of happened slowly and it wasn't really documented that much at first and then over time you start to see some of it play out on twitter and shit like when did it start see, to see some cracks all right so this the thing like me me eddie and bone we was all kind of like you know what i'm saying we, we was cool it was like me and what we was good too but like we always, you know what I'm saying? Jeffrey, just we to kill him, nah, he nah, ain't around. Nah, yeah, I, nah, I don't, <laughs> even, talk, don't even talk about it. Any. All right, we, <laughs> That's we, another uh, chapter. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Man, what well, we was just always clashing. You, I mean, we, we wouldn't clash like that, but we would clash, you know what I'm saying? Just like, it would always be something like that, you feel me? Because like, you two are the ones who are the most similar. Like, you've known yeah, each other the longest, yeah, right? Exactly. You're both we from Memphis. We know, But see, the thing is, bro, we, us, we was, we was like, Cause we had went. See, I'm gonna I'm I'm go from like we went on the tour. The first tour um, that we did, it was twelve. It was like twelve guys. It was twelve of us. These it's it's guys from Ray Clan, right? Me, Wolf, Eddie Bones, everybody. We we all went on the tour, bro. It was like twelve of us crammed in a motherfucking minivan, and we just this was our first tour we ever did with with all of them. You know what I'm saying? And at the time, me me and Wolf was the biggest. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? We cause we just coming out Ray Clan. We had, we was doing our shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, per, you know, doing we was all doing our shit. You know what I'm saying? So we was the biggest. So at this at that time, like I was um I was out here like just trying to get my music out. You know what I'm saying? Like out here, spread it out in California and LA. And Wolf was on the same shit. So once we went on that tour, we like we was like damn like it's actually kids and shit showing up like it's it, this motherfucker showing we like it wasn't like crazy how it, it was later down the line mm-hmm. but kids and shit was actually showing up and the songs that we was playing like it was real punk you know what i'm saying it was yeah. like on some punk rock shit like mosh all that type of shit and at this time our future and them was they was going crazy and shit like you know what i'm saying so uh rap was changing a lot yeah, we yeah, might not 100 percent understood it at the time but there was so much different shit happening you yeah know? exactly it was so much different shit happening you know what i'm saying and uh shit we had we had went on tour with uh with trash talking our future we we did a couple shows out here in california it was uh me wolf and perp and i think a couple more we well we did a tour with trash talking our future and, and it was like some real punk shit like mm. that. I feel like that was like you know what I'm saying the start. You know what I'm saying like other shit. You feel me? And then but to go towards to go to the tour with all of us, bro. It was twelve of us crammed in a van, staying in motels. Niggas four like four like we all six deep in one room. Mm-hmm. Just bro, like it was it was that shit was crazy, and like it wasn't like everybody was just. Like doing 
doing they doing like what the fuck like what they want wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? I was I was always gonna do that anyway. You know what I'm saying? But like once we was done with that tour, we we just decided to stay out in California and fuck with uh Bones and L and Alien and shit. So like. And uh, then the other folks, they went and back in, to their city, their hometown, and did whatever they did. And so that's how Sis Hollow Water Boys formed because uh, we was just like, all right, we're going it's, to, it's us, so we just gonna stick around. We just gonna stick around, stay here, make music, and book the shows. Elliot was booking the shows and shit, and we, and we was just gonna go from there, and we was going up. And so, like, at that time, like, rap, like you said, was changing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the SoundCloud era, the the um, just making music in a in a bedroom and shit like that, like all like we was the the start of that shit. You feel me? So that's really like that's really like how the, all that shit began. But when the tension started flaring up, it's like on down the line. You know what I'm saying? So we gonna we gonna get to that though. Like mm-hmm. we gonna get to that for sure. Right. So yeah, I mean like yeah, what happened in between? Like like when do you feel like it was at its height? What, 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 uh, like such all the water boys in general, like 2017. I, I would say, bro, 2016, probably mm-hmm. 2016, 2015. Then when shit started going left, was probably tw- end of 2017, 2018. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you're like, yeah, motherfuckers don't know that, but like, yeah, when shit started going left, like, yeah, 2017, 2018. All right, so break that down for me. How'd that start happening? So that started happening because me and, um, I was going back and forth. I was going back and forth from Memphis to Cali, you know what I'm saying? And so I we I we was making money and shit. So I st- I ended up giving me a crib. Everybody, you know like how it be like when niggas start getting their own spots, when niggas, you know what I'm saying? Everybody started doing their own shit. Right so after the, I saw it happen with you guys, I saw it happen with Shoreline. Yeah, where they the, was it's, all it's, super yeah, tight homies. It's the same shit. They bro. get signed, yeah. they start getting money, yeah, yeah, they get move, money, they get their own spots, they get yes, their own girls. girls. And yeah. then you're just touring together. Yeah, and all just, of a sudden you it, ain't spending time like that. Yeah, you know? You ain't you ain't buying this shit like yeah. that. So like we everybody just what uh going their own paths. So you feel me? That's what like that's what really happened. And we moved out, niggas was making money, we moved out. I'm I done I done I done stayed all around LA and shit. So like once I moved out, bro, I was just I was working like I was working. The bones, uh everybody was just working. And like I stayed downtown and shit. And so I would just be making my mixtapes and all that shit in in my crib, like, and just dropping them. And just dropping them on SoundCloud. And like uh You were always kinda in your own world. I I, I always <laughs> been in my own world, bro. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I always been in my own world. We probably then, would have had an interview in twenty sixteen if you weren't in bro, such your own world. <laughs> bro, nah, this shit long overdue. This yeah. shit long overdue. But I'ma tell you though, like like I'm only like I just wait for the right time. I yeah. ain't really do like I it's been plenty of motherfuckers that hit me up to do interviews and shit, mm. but I ain't never I just ain't never get around it. You know what I'm saying? Like I just wanted to wait for the right time. And this is the right time. It's perfect. Fire. Perfect time. We should have been had an interview, bro. It's kind of like, perfect, though. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We should have <laughs> been we long overdue for an interview. But would bro. you say you're a loner? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm definitely a loner. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm definitely I was never like even when when we go back to the Raider clan and shit, bro, I was always just in my own I was just on like on like some loner shit. I wasn't I wasn't on no loner, loner shit. But I was just, I, I always wanted to stay in my lane. This mm-hmm. is period. I just wanted to stay in my lane. Because I ain't never want to, like, just fucking, because that's how shit, you know what I'm saying? That's how niggas clash and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, just, you know, just motherfuckers, like, if they don't stay, like, I feel like how I do it, if I don't stay in my own lane, I ain't going to like the turnout, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to like the turnout. So I just feel like I always need to stay in my own lane. I need to have my own sound. I need to have my own everything, you know what I'm saying? Like, I always been like this since a kid, so like, okay. that's why, like, you know what I'm saying? And when when I went solo, that's when like the tension. That's when my, you know, you know, nigga. Of course, motherfuckers gonna get mad, you know what I'm saying? But like, I wouldn't, I, I, I don't give a, I don't give a fuck about what nobody say or what about what nobody talk about. I always just do my own thing. But when you say went solo, did you ever have that conversation with them? Like, I'm not really trying to do this shit as a group so much. Yeah, I ain't, I, I, bro, I ain't, I'm gonna tell you, like, I ain't even, they, I, they noticed it, like, they noticed, because I started distancing myself, like, mm-hmm. I just started distancing myself, like, and like you said, like, niggas was, uh, but when it was time to, like, I still do shows and shit with them, like, I still do shows, but you can just feel, like, 
Like, motherfuckers are, even the fans, they was knowing, like, oh, Chris, he be on his own shit. Like, he just be, you know what I'm saying? He be on his own shit. But I was, you know, I still do shows, do all that shit. And, but that's the thing, though. When we all came to get, we was all on our own shit. I feel like Sess Hall of Water Boys was just a good collective of all our shit coming together. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, of all our stuff coming together. Because Bones, he, he been had, they had been had Sess. Wolf Ben had Hollow Squad, Eddie Ben had, you know, Healthy Boys and all that shit. But so then you say that you want to kind of just do your own thing, and how do they react? I mean, they ain't, like, they 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 probably felt, I know they felt some type of way, like, but see, the thing is, motherfuckers don't communicate, you know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't never, like, communicate, but, like, we ain't never just, like, I just came out one day, and I was just, like, they already felt the tension. But I was like, I, I need to go public with this shit. So I had just tweeted. I was like, I'm I'm no longer Sesh Hollow Water Boys. Um, like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody doing their own thing. But I, I'm walking my own path. That shit went crazy. And then and the fans was mad. The fans was mad. But some fans was just like, for the real fans was like, oh, bro, I'm glad. You know what I'm saying? Just keep doing your shit. You know what I'm saying? Just keep doing your thing. But did you really not have any like drama with any of them at that point or was any what what led nah, up to it that wasn't no it wasn't no real drama with them at that point they respected they respected the, my decision they respected it like they respected it you know what i'm saying so like they they you know and they respected it and i respected them but it's just like bro like bro we gotta like we gotta be real my, i was always in in the shows every steps hollow water boys shows bro i'm, I'm in the show like I'm the we like I'm like I I be turning up you know what I'm saying I be turning up like a motherfucker like I ain't even gonna cap like I just I was just turning up like I ain't gonna say I I turned up the most but bro I was turning up and the fans know they knew what's up like the uh-huh. fans knew what's up for sure but so you just felt like you had a better opportunity to try to go solo and did you feel like you weren't gonna be able to be viewed as your own artist if you kept just like being yeah. affiliated with the group yeah yeah that's how i felt like i feel like i wasn't gonna be i always wanted to be my own artist you know what i'm saying i i, I wanted that from the jump i wanted that shit from the jump i always wanted to be my own artist i ain't never just wanted to you know what i'm saying like tag along in the group that's why i broke up from ready Clan. i was the first one to leave ready Clan. Mm-hmm. like a lot of motherfuckers don't know this like I, I had the radio clan and then uh what have a perp punch punched a journalist or some shit <laughs> hell yeah bro hell yeah bro like that yes bro somebody like, from the fader or something yeah, right somebody, yeah somebody from the fader yeah yeah he did that shit in new york i think like yup damn yep, and that's what that's, that's what started everything that's yeah, yeah that's what started everything bro like you see even today perp was tweeting about how he wants to have yeah, a concert yeah, you versus wolf hosted versus by me yes i'm bro, like what was, the bro, fuck i said bro this nigga perp bro for he real, on his like 90th twitter yeah right bro his 90th he just keep getting banned and keep getting fucking deleted off twitter and shit i'm like bro LA. Whenever he, he, anybody sends me his tweets, I feel like I'm being trolled because it bro, would be so easy for it to just be a fake account, a fake right? Account. Yeah, like, it could be so easy for it to be a fake ass account, bro. Like, like that shit can be so. That's why I, I, I sometimes I just be looking at that shit and I'd be like, bro, is this even a real perp? Like, I don't, I, I, was, I don't even be knowing. Right, but so then where does the shit start going ha- going left from there after you announce so that you left? When I when I when I announced that I left, that's when like the tension and shit, like you know what I'm saying, motherfuckers was getting mad. You know what I'm saying? I was doing my own shit. Me and, but like I said, me and Wolf, we was always clashing. You feel me? So like, I ain't never have no no tension between Bones and Eddie. Right. That's what I'm thinking. Cause yeah. Bones is super chill. Like Bones, for the most they part, they stay out. They stay out the way. Bro. I said like, you're in your own world. He's mega in his own mega, world. Yeah, right. Bones be mega in his own world. He on. You know what I'm saying? And like, then Eddie, I never really known Eddie to be like antagonizing shit. He always like be trying to get along with yeah, everybody. Yeah, yeah. But I ain't gonna keep, lie. Keep Eddie, cool, yeah, you know? Eddie, Eddie would be like the mediator. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he'll be he'll be trying to keep shit cool and shit like that. You feel? But me? But then meanwhile, but Wolf like, is like bipolar, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wolf. <laughs> He, he that nigga yeah. bipolar, bro. Like he he be he, it's like like I don't know if it's ego or what, but like you know what I'm saying. It just be like this nigga just he just be bipolar on on that bipolar shit and just thinking his ego is just bigger than what it is. You feel me? So I just that's and then that's why you know we clash. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like nah nah, it, it ain't even finna go like that. You feel me? Because even yeah. after you left the group, were you guys like hanging out? Bro, nah, that, that was over. By that man. was over. With. Okay, that was that was over with. I ain't nah. We weren't talking to nothing. I wasn't nah. I wasn't even trying to talk or nothing. Like he wasn't like he wasn't talk. Like I still, I still to this day, I like I, I still talk to uh Eddie. You know what I'm saying, Bones and them. But like me and Wolf, nah, hell nah. 
Yeah. So what 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 actually caused the the shit to break out onto Twitter when you guys actually started really getting into it? What was that about? Okay, so you you want to know from recently, just now? Sure. Or the stuff back like a year or two ago. So the stuff back like a year or two ago. Um, the stuff back like a year. All right. <laughs> so, damn, bro, what happened, bro? I, Cause I we he I dropped it. I think I, he dropped like a little a little song or something. Fans was tagging me and shit, and he was like sneak dissing. Mm. He was mad that I he was kind he was mad that I left the group too. Like I, I feel like he, I know he was he was mad and shit. So he dropped a song or something, and then the fans was tweeting me and shit. Like I don't I like I ain't gonna lie. I wasn't I don't listen to no I don't be I don't be listening to, to like other motherfuckers' music and shit like that because I be trying to be on my shit. But like I, I went I like I went and hear him like man I don't know if he dissing me or what but like it kind of sound like so I'm like all right fuck this shit I'm gonna I'm gonna drop my own diss track so I dropped the diss track and then bro that's when like that was 2018 see this was 2018 that's when shit like like was going like see we'll be on some shit like bro like this nigga be trying to be cool. And then it'll be some shit when we fall out. It's like, I ain't even trying to be on there. Like, nigga, we ain't cool, nigga. We ain't cool. Like, but if you trying to be on there, oh, oh, like, um, we cool, but like, still, you know what I'm saying? Sneak dissing and all that shit. I ain't even trying to be on there, nigga. If we, if we ain't straight, we ain't straight. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't having that. It's I'm finna excuse you, too. Yeah. That nigga, that bitch ass nigga put me in the song, too. Oh, yeah, I'm about oh, yeah. Put my yeah. foot up his ass. Yeah, yeah, hold on. No yeah. cap. What'd he yeah, say? Like, I don't even remember that. That what I'm saying. I forgot something. It was right. He dropped a request Refuse album. Remember okay. that album? Uh -huh. He had got mad at him over some bullshit, because, you know, and yeah, yeah. he was signed. They wrote me a check because I was on the album. Yeah, see, this was this really this was way, back this, then. So he like, this, he, so you know, he like, oh yeah, they brought. He like, he probably like, fuck both of them niggas now. You know, that's that's really what it stemmed for. I ain't even gonna lie. It stemmed yo, and from that was back in twenty eighteen. Yeah, I went to jail. He yeah, was mad that, that you had a verse little, on the yeah, album, yeah, or that you got paid for it. Yeah, and I was yeah. supposed to get him a cut. Yeah, like he was supposed to get him. And then, Why? nah, this really what it stemmed from. Penny pension. And so, like, I'm like, nah, hell nah, bitch ass nigga. Like, you ain't finna uh. You just cause my brother, you he, he got a little check. Like nigga, ain't you supposed to be making money? Why you crying over some little punk ass dollars? You know what I'm saying? When we shit, like we making money, money, right? Baby, baby money. money. Like when you know shit. what I'm saying? I'm like, why you crying over some little punk ass nigga? I give you that shit, nigga. I'm my so so that's really what it stemmed from. Like mm. you know what I'm saying? Him making some shit about my brother, but like we were all like I said, we were the class. So I dropped a diss song on his ass, and then after that, 2018, we were uh, after I dropped my diss song. Niggas was still trying to be cool, like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas was still trying to be cool. We were still talking and shit, but, like, I be peeping shit from a distance, you know Nigga what I'm saying? Nigga had undercover tension. Yeah, he had, yeah, shit undercover. Yeah, undercover. That's very it him, don't, though. Don't That's, That's how he is. Yeah, it don't come to the light. Yeah, it don't come to the light. Like, he'll be, you you know what I'm saying? He'll be sneak dissing and shit, but he won't say shit to a nigga face. Like, he won't say, he, he won't, like... You know what I'm saying? I'm the type like I ain't playing like nigga. I'm gonna come to your face if I got something to say. Man, and to we, man. yeah, man to man, I'm gonna hit you up. I'm gonna do whatever. But you know what I'm saying? He the type of talk behind a nigga back, do, do all type of other bullshit. Like I ain't, I wasn't cool with nothing. For real. And and me and him were like at one point we were really tight, like really close friends, talking every day. And yeah. when we fell out, it was because of him just going straight to Twitter, talking yeah. crazy shit about some stupid shit about. Bro, he, I remember. He tripped out one I time because I interviewed Whoa yeah. Vicky. Like, like yeah, like we, some, which we thought it was funny. Yeah, it was yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah. you know, it was we were having a good time. What you, what you worried about with another motherfucker doing? And, and you're gonna really like call out somebody you are real friends with over some dumb shit all like that them. instead of texting me and if you text me and say, Oh, that's some weird ass shit, whatever, yeah. I, that, that's whatever. Like we could fucking argue about it. It is what it is. Yeah. And even before that, it was always on some petty ass jealous shit. He got mad when I interviewed Suicide yeah. Boys because yeah, he was exactly. jealous as yeah. fuck of them. Exactly, bro. He was he, mad bro. when I interviewed Ty, Tyler Grosso because he was ASAP. Bro, that Crying. nigga got that type of like he got that type Crying. of energy. That nigga be jealous, bro. Like I ain't gonna he it just be it just nigga be envious, nigga like yeah. nigga just be hating like and then they wanna make it seem like I'm the bad guy and I'm hating on the light, bro. Like what? What I gotta hate hate on you for? What you got that I ain't got? Like I ain't what like come on now, like yeah, I feel like you, Eddie, and Bones all seem like good people, but it's an example of where like one bad apple could really like yeah, spoil, spoil the, the budge, whole bunch, you know? bro. For real, like one bad—that's exactly what it is, bro. One bad apple, and then on some shit like where he think he made no jumper and shit, like, bro, like, bro. Come on. Come on. Like, you always, you know, like... He couldn't even make nigga, himself. Man, bro, don't that's, don't even know I, himself. I said, bro, I said, I told that nigga that his... I said, bro, how you gonna... How you think you made somebody? You can't even make yourself like... Right. 
How you always think you made something or created something, bro? Come on now. I put, I ain't even, bro. I would go into deep. I put that boy on air. He wouldn't even be who he was today if it weren't for me. Mm. I, I go in deep, but I, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. He, like, bro. There's another on, ex. If, if any rapper wants to say and, they made me, there's another ex that could definitely make the claim he ain't here to yeah, say that. Yeah, but there's yeah, a different ex that would have an argument. Big facts. I'm yeah. going to be real. Like, yeah, it was dope that he gave me that interview, but that was honestly a direction that I was going in general where I was trying to figure out how to do content with all kinds of different people. So yeah. he was like a real good rapper at that yeah. time that it yeah. made sense. And yeah. after I interview him, Puya hits me up uh -huh, and he wants yeah. to do it. And that makes yeah. sense. So it's like I'm kind of covering this whole world and shit. But for him to act like he made me after I did literally like 1,500 interviews since then and shit, it's like, bro, you Come couldn't even now. bring your pull your shit together. Bad. You couldn't even pull your shit. So how you made somebody, bro? Like, come on. Come like, on. Like now. when he dropped that album on Atlantic, I remember listening to it and just being like, what the fuck is he thinking? Like, how is this See, really what you is, did? My thing is though, get out there, motherfucker. These motherfuckers think that this nigga really. In, see, I'm really. I was. I was really independent. You feel me? Right. Like that, he dropped an uh, album with Atlantic, like like, and still trying to claim that independent status and all. He was this. sneaky like, with the signage. Yeah, trying to be sneaky with the signage. Like, go ahead, bro. Be real with yourself. Be real with your fans, bro. The lead like, single was a Made in Tokyo song with a verse from him. Like, bro. it was all made in Tokyo. Yeah, right, like, exactly. I like, remember being on. like, what are you doing? Come on now, like, right, like, that's the thing, though, bro. Like, even when we used to make music, like, like, me, like, how I, how I see niggas would get inspired by me, crunch time, all that shit, like, not all that shit, I would just go in there and go in the booth and just kill it. I don't need no features. That, that's that's the rule. I don't need no features. I don't need, no, I don't need nobody on the song with me. I'm just finna slam this shit, like. And that's how I, like that's how I was, but like well, even when we did the features, like we don't believe you and shit like that. That was just on some shit where oh we all just chilling, smoking in the in the garage. Let's hop on the beat and uh you know what I'm saying and, and Bones pulled that shit up and we just did that shit. It's a shame because so I always wish there was like a tape of like 15 songs like that, bro. You guys was, all I, 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 every, Yeah, everybody wanted that shit. Everybody wanted that shit, bro. But like. Bro, that shit wasn't. I don't feel. I don't like. I don't think it was ever gonna happen for real. It, it didn't like seem yeah. realistic in the beginning. Yeah, it ain't seem. Nah, it, it definitely didn't. Cause once once we did, we don't believe you though. We ain't know that shit was gonna take off how it did. You right. feel me? But like at the we bike was, shop. Yeah, at the bike shop. We sh <laughs> we literally shot the video at the bike shop. Yeah. Bro. I remember that shit right there downtown. I think Stevie that, did a tail up in the video. Yeah, hell yeah, I remember that shit, bro. Like, and then you know what I'm saying, niggas was. That's when motherfuckers got into the BMX shit and like and all that. You feel me? So like. I remember a time period where like a random girl I know went to a Chief Keith show at the observatory in the OC and yeah. she she just was like, man, like there's so many people here with hollow squad shirts and like, cause we had done a collab with them. She's like, yeah, I just seen yeah, like yeah. 10 people wearing your shit. Like yeah. it was a real like movement in LA yeah, at that yeah. time. Bro, it was a real movement, like for real for the BMX and all, like the skateboarding. Cause I remember I had pulled up on you and got me a bike cause I was staying downtown. Yep. I had pulled up on you and got me a bike, bro. And I was like, shit. I ain't never like I ain't never I wouldn't never ride bikes, but see I was like I wanna ride bike. I ain't had no car or nothing like I ain't had no car. I was like nigga shit, I gotta get around downtown. So I had my bike and shit like that, but quick detour in this conversation before we get back to this other shit. Do you have any memories from that time period of going to all those ham shows and being in all those crazy ass environments in terms Bro. of either people who have lost their life since then or just people who went on to become legendary? Is there anything that ever stands out Bro. to you of like I was in some wild ass spaces. Hell yeah, bro. I, bro, like, bro, I, I see it like, bro, you got to think about it. Like, since Ham and all that shit, Ham was like the first, bro, when I first came, I think Ham was my first show. And it was with um, um, uh, Main Attractions. Okay. They was you know they was doing the cloud the cloud rap shit. We can get into it with ASAP Rock and all that shit. But like that's what's my, funny. People, I always I used to call it cloud rap. Like when I first yeah. started fucking with y'all before SoundCloud rap, yeah. I was just saying like yeah I'm fucking with these dudes bones of them and they they do like cloud rap type shit because yeah, that's what they were that's, calling it with Young Lean. Was yeah, it was with and Young you guys Lean. were kind of like in but that see, family. I bet, you know? bro, like the, the crazy thing is like they trying to treat like Codeine and Pizza like that. I made like a cloud rap album. I wasn't even making that shit on no cloud rap. But, like, I feel like that really started the genre. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, people are calling, oh, the cloud rap, the druggy, the spacey, wavy beats. You know what I'm saying? The spacey, wavy flow. <laughs> like, you feel me? Like, 
that was a, the start of that shit. And then, you know, but I feel like ASAP Rocky was doing that shit too at that True. time. He was an influence yeah, for sure. He, yeah, he was, yeah. But okay, what, like, I meet a million rappers from Memphis or from like different hoods, or whatever. And a lot of them, like, they make music realistically that sounds like, you know, street music. They're trying to sound like, Pooh Shiesty or Big 30 or whoever the fuck these days, you know? Oh, yeah. But you always bro, I, have been so different and you you never really I, seem like you look, tried to fit in at all. Bro, I was on I ain't gonna lie. I used to make like shit like that. I ain't I when I when I first like my first shit, I was making like street shit, like real killer shit. Like if you go back and listen to old Chris Travis, you'll be like, damn. Right. But then I was just like being in Cali, bro, it just like like it changed up my sound. I th I think it did it for the better, you know what I'm saying? And it just made me want to be different. Like Cause like everybody in Memphis was rapping about the same shit, right? Like you know what I'm saying, but every like, but like Memphis is like that staple. I feel like right, even right now, like Memphis is like that staple, like of the sound of like hip hop for real, right? Like you know what I'm saying, especially with all the artists and shit blowing up out the city. Yeah, like motherfuckers going Fuck the city the going crazy. Hell yeah, that's a fact. Hell yeah. All right, so what happened more recently when you was pulling up to a spot, putting it on all Twitter? Right. <laughs> <laughs> so. How that shit went went about okay. A lot bet, of good bet, tweets lately. Bet, bet, okay. So he I'm I'm on like like I said, niggas be having secrets like secret little tension, you know what I'm saying? Like niggas be having secret tension. So we was following each other. We like we we was following each other. And uh but we ain't talk, but like I I just be like, bro, niggas just be watching, niggas just be, you know what I'm saying? He just be trying, he you know, he just be he just be trying to see what niggas on and shit. So but like we was following each other. He was pr promoting his uh new album or whatever, I guess. So uh, he had dropped a promo video or something. And then I was uh I had I I seen it and I was like, and it was the same beat. I literally I, it was it was the same sound, but I ain't even gonna lie. It was the same sound, but I just used my recent album. And I'm like, I'm I i had coming. I ain't say no hating shit mm. or none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't say none like I ain't say no hating shit or none of that shit. I was just like, damn, this shit, this shit hard. Everybody use this sound. I was like, I use this sound, but I use this sound like, you know what I'm saying? I did this motherfucker first. Like, you know what I'm saying? And so he had he had he had replied. He was like, Hell yeah, it is, bro. Then his brother had came and and just said some hating ass shit. And I had responded back to his really brother. Been there. Yeah, I had responded back to his brother. And I'm like, fuck out of here. Like, nigga, I, I I had said some shit back. And you feel me? He was mad about that. You know what I'm saying? Nigga was mad. And so we arguing in the comments. Of course, you know what I'm saying? His little henchman or his little <laughs> little weak ass little uh, <laughs> minions. <laughs> minions coming. And so I'm like, man, y'all niggas speaking for this nigga. Let this nigga speak up for itself, bro. And like, like, uh, I think three or four days later, this nigga get on Twitter just like you said. He get on Twitter. He was well, he more tough woke up as hell. To I don't know if he was blue. on some coke. I don't know he if he was up. on some he drug woke up or on something. He woke up like he just tough as hell. I'm like, a week later now you want to get tough. Man, look at him. Like as soon as I seen that tweet. I'm like, hold on, I, see, I pull this shit up on my phone. I still got this <laughs> yeah, cause shit. Yeah, because it nigga. got deleted. I never actually yeah, saw it. Yeah, I still got this shit, nigga. I'm <laughs> like, hold on. Talk, right? yeah, the fans talk. aren't archiving hard enough. I didn't, the fan page man, just got to work yeah, harder. Oh, yeah, yeah. Talking the fans still got that shit. Yeah, he talking about his talk. Talking about his talk. So I'm like, I'm like, hold on, hold on. He had said some, he had said, bro, he, Chris said something about my brother, some shit. I'm on his ass. I'm on his ass for today. That's some, some shit. I'm like, Nigga, you an anime rapper, nigga. Quit playing, nigga. I, <laughs> hey, bro, stop playing with me, nigga. I'm really from the man. I'm really Leave from Mint. Me, me, like, I'm really from the trenches. Like, Leave nigga, I know you, bro. Like, stop playing. You live in Mississippi. You really weren't even in Memphis like that for real. Like, mm. stop playing, bro. You not even, you know what I'm saying? The truth will come you, out yeah, for real. Yeah, the truth will come yeah, out for nigga, real. Like, nigga, you, honest, yeah. A lot of shit he rap about this shit, nigga. Man, these man, niggas doing this shit in their room. Come on, nigga, bro. Facts, bro. Like, <laughs> nigga, I done really been some shit in Memphis. Like, am you know what Put I'm saying? Up. From my, me, my folks, like, like, come on now, like, like, Grew you, up yeah, doing this shit. fast, like, nigga, you, you was in Mississippi, you want, you stay on the borderline, all the branch, like, you are in Memphis for real, like, niggas just be talking. So, uh, I was like, nigga, you an anime rapper, bro, stop playing with me. Then he had said, uh, he had said some shit where like, oh, um, he's he's what what the fuck did he say? 
he was like, you just mad or something like you just mad. Um, you I ain't you ain't uh, your numbers and shit for uh you you your numbers and shit flopping and shit. He was like, you know where I'm at though. I said, I I know where you at. I I said, bet I'm on the way to Hollywood right now. Bring your soft ass out your apartment. I said it just like that. Bro, I'm literally out of him. As soon as he said that, I dashed out my motherfucking door. I'm like, I'm on the way right now. I'm telling you, I'm doing like 150 <laughs> down the motherfucking E-way. I'm like, all right, since this nigga so tough, bro, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, since he's so tough. See since he on home, it. Yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm seeing if the niggas, niggas like really on it. So I pulled up. And I'm like, okay, like I put, you know how, you know, um, right there on Hollywood and shit, you know, the gated little apartments and shit like I'm like, all right. So I still, I pulled up, stayed there, took the picture. Bam, nigga, I'm at your spot, nigga. Where you at? Come outside, nigga. Like, I said, what, I said some funny ass shit. I said, tell the big bad wolf come outside before I blow his house down. I was like, <laughs> bro, that tweet really Bars. got, bro, <laughs> fat, bro. Like, bro, that tweet got reported and deleted and all oh, this. Shit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like they, they had a lot of my well, Twitter and they, all that shit for that shit. Damn. So, like, I'm like, yeah, since you so big and tough, like, nigga, you talking all this shit on Twitter, nigga, come outside, bro. Like, Stop playing with me, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, you know, you know, you know how I get down. Like, stop playing with me. Yeah, like, that's an L. You yeah. can't, you can't like you act the, tough facts. and then have somebody post bro, your grid. And that's <laughs> I mean, what the fans were saying. Like, you told Chris to pull, you told Chris to pull up. Right. He pulled up, and you said you know where you know where I'm at. I okay, yeah, I know where you at. You ain't you pulled. You act like you was out eating. You, I told you, literally, I'm on the way. You probably left the house. And went out to eat or did whatever you did, but like, and then after that, his little uh little minion want to come in, little Jeffrey. I'm like, bro, I only want to type that. that, that, that you that, was that, nobody. <laughs> you was a nobody. Like, that boy right there. Why is you even stepping in, <sighs> man? That boy right there is a little boy, man. I, I, man, I, it's I, really sad man. just seeing him just be a little henchman, but he ain't really ever got anything in return besides a tiny little That's droplet of clout, right? A little droplet. Right. He could little, barely get a retweet. A droplet, bro. Like, he, yeah. Bro, this nigga, look, he was my cameraman. He was my cameraman at first. So. They, I don't even think Zay wasn't even was they even fucking with him. Wasn't, then. Was they wasn't fucking Zay with Zay. He wasn't even around Zay. Yeah, he wasn't even around. Well, he wasn't even around Zay and shit then. This nigga was my cameraman. Me and Wu, we was, we was, I brought him around, like, you know what I'm saying? And he started, like, I guess he started the rap. He was, he think he can, he, oh, I can do this rap shit too with them little weak ass ABC one, two, three ass little songs he be making. <laughs> but, like, bro, he, he, I guess he started, he can do the rap shit too. So, I get, I guess, and then. You know, me we we had feel like and then Wolf I, Wolf and Jeffrey, they was just always, you know, they they both like got the same like fuck nigga look mentality, you know. But what they I'm were beefing for a minute, right? That's why it's weird seeing they them dick beef, ride yeah, each other that's now. Right? Right? The they didn't like each other. But like I said, bro, like you <laughs> he, he gonna get that this mind. Leave his ass out of town, everything. We wanna speak fat, we ain't gonna speak. We ain't gonna get into man, right that man, that man, like you said, he got that little drop of the clout and he got that shit only from Wolf fans, bro. Like, come on now, you ain't got your own fan base, boy. Stop it. Yeah, nah. Right. Like, yeah. I always liked his music too, but he just acted like a weirdo. Man, I ain't I can't name a memorable Jeffrey song. <laughs> rape, rape. <laughs> All right, and then nigga, you you made a song like that Nah, that's that too, bro. We're lucky that never look, really blew up because that could have looked bad for the whole group. Yeah, bro. That's what, but look, look, like that's that's how me and him. I had I had fucking uh, it was a fucking uh a video popped up on my Twitter timeline. Oh, of everybody singing along to it at like that show. Oh, at, and at it looks show. crazy. I said I, that's when that's really when I was like, bro, I'm distancing my I, like I can't even fuck with D Lane. I really said that on Twitter. I said, bro, D niggas so lame. I can't fuck with D Lane, man. Niggas like, and then that's when niggas got mad. And then you know what I'm saying, niggas got this. This was probably in 20. I think this was 2018 too. That was 2018. Yeah, 2018, 2019. Like, I was like, bro, I can't fuck with D-Lane, man, nigga. Bro, this shit lame as hell. I remember T.A. Double Dollar playing me that song and just being like, bro. Like, and, and you got, I'm that, like, yeah, he bro. thought it was funny as fuck. I'm like, bro, you got to get rid of this. Like, and you got to delete thing, oh, this shit. Trans. I'm and like, you're going to get in trouble, bro. In the, in the uh, iMac recycle bin, boy, <laughs> never bring it back, nigga. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Throw that bitch in the recycle bin, never bring it back, nigga. Hell nah, bro. Yeah. That's a, but at the same yeah. he, bro. He he wanted to, he was inspired by my flows and all that. 
Bro, I'm telling you, bro, these niggas be inspired by me for real. Like, but Rico, how you catch him lacking at the 7 Eleven? What's going on, man? You really them pull up boys. Huh? Man, you know what I'm saying? Man, we bagged in the gas station, man. Yeah. I'm in a car, you know, come on now. I'm always in the city, man. Come on Fat, now. Little, I'm, little, little I'm bro, out was, here. Man, I'm out here. Really be in the city, I'm though. I'm out here and you know what I'm saying? in this bitch type shit. So, I man, believe you. I know. We had, a, we, had a, we had a gas station when I plugged. It probably about 2 in the morning. You know, I'm always out. These my hours. I, I ain't going to sleep till the sun come up. So, man, we had a gas station. Bam. My cousin, he uh, came to gas station. He said, hey. So, bam, I love it. He said, hey, that's Jeffrey, nigga. I said, man, I love it. I said, man, that's your old life. <laughs> my, bam. My insta. I said, you know, I insta. I said, Chris. I said, check him out right now. Man, I said, yeah, what's yeah, up? Said, <laughs> I said, I said, he I said he lucky, man. I said, I don't, I, don't, I told him, don't I said, he, he I, said, I, said, I said, I said, spread it, nigga, boy. I, I said, said, I could have hopped man, out, beat him, treated man, him, treat, did whatever. Yeah. It would have led to whatever, I said, but bro, I said, bro, I ain't even going to yeah, do it. Yeah, I said, it's bro, it's man, spread, and man then, no cap, for look, real. And then he in the hottest, he in the hottest part of the city where the sheriff yeah, is. He know he know the girl to say, we had we had the police headquarters. Yeah, facts, like, has crossed police hot. He where ain't nothing but sheriff hot. We had the headquarters of where they pull up at. Man, mm. police hot as hell over there. Damn. No he, lie. So, man. <laughs> and then, oh, yeah, let me tell you. Hold on. I ain't even finished. Niggas right. don't really be in the city like that, for real. Let me finish this before yeah, I ain't talking. <laughs> so, man, this how he knew. This how he, uh, when I let him know it was me. Bam. Open the door. I said, what it is? You know, I had hit him with the men to the side till I pulled down my mask. I said, hey, homie, you need some help? Man, that bitch got to run into the car so quick. My, look, he looked back. That boy, he looked back. That bitch hop, he hopped in the car so quick. That boy that turned into the Forrest Gump in there, Boy, home. I promise that boy pulled off in that 1985 ad car like that was a GTR. I stamp it. And then, look, we in the sky. We came out the gas, we came out the park like hitting that hoe, coming out those sideways. <laughs> yeah. Man, that bitch got to go on about one fall. He down and blew the motor trying to get down the street. You, you are that one was, of the best oh people who has soul. ever lived, Rico. Man, oh, the most bad. legendary big human. Cap, big bro, bad. you need to, to be a star. Street. On everything he is. He next up. Both of, both of them. Rick, bang, bro, Rico next up, man. Trey Band next up, man. Oh, they a big fat, bro, on everything, it bro. Is, it, it, is your song still on the SoundCloud or did he take it down? I, I, I had, he took he took it down when the beat started. I, I had re uploaded it. it. Yeah. put everything back yeah, in. Put, I, yeah, put it, put it I gotta go listen to that song right now. Still, no, I got plenty of new yeah, shit. He be on the way. Rico, no, no, kick, kick a dough. dough. Yeah. Like, uh, and, and everything I rap about, I did. Unlike him. And Man, then Adam, big facts. He he stole. He was stealing Chris Flow, but when he got to rapping about other shit. He, you see, okay, he wasn't yeah. rap about none of that shit till I came around. He wasn't rap about pimping, breaking no bitch till I came around. Come all on, that be shit, real. pimping all that you shit. You were rapping about raping bitches and tricking. Man, all that type of shit. You go from rap, you Look. go from rapping about raping and tricking to pimping. <laughs> How? How? Now, now you now you trying to be on some gangster shit. You like, just don't know what to switch it. You don't know what you want to be in life. Man, man, get your ass up out here, boy. Like, that's what I'm saying, bro. These niggas, bro. Yeah. They said right there. <laughs> <laughs> he went from rape. <laughs> he fucked up on everything. He fucked up. That's boy. crazy Dude, that people cow. are gonna be searching that song and just being like, We're "What fans. the fuck?" Like, Damn, what the fuck? Sure made it. We're gonna have to go to the dark dark web to find it. Man, on everything, that bitch probably got that shit removed off every. Nah, everything. I searched for it a couple of times, and whenever I found it, it's from like somebody uploaded it like six months before because yeah, it been deleted type so shit. many times. Type mm -hmm. Yeah, type shit. Long ass time ago, man. Come on now. Crazy. I like, that man, that's why I say I had to distance myself from these niggas, man. I cannot fuck with these niggas, bro, at all. Like, yeah, you still talk to Eddie or Bones at all, though, or, or is, is that kind of weird now? That's kind of weird now. Like, I can't even, I can't even fuck with, like, see, after the shit that just went on, Bones and Ellie and them, I guess they don't follow me and shit. I'm like, <laughs> fuck y'all niggas, too. Fuck you talking about. Like, stop playing with me. Y'all know how I get down, bro. Like, stop playing with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, but that's how, you know what I'm saying? That's how shit be. Like, that's why I always been on my own shit. You feel me? Cause like, it's just like I already see how know when she hit the fan. Yeah. Niggas start getting picking sides. So, when she hit know. the fan, niggas start picking sides. And so really, like, these niggas need to stay out the business. They need to stay out the business. They need to stay out the business. They need to stay out the business. Cause y'all really, y'all ain't from the city where we from. So and that's why I be saying like anybody that ain't shit. that ain't got nothing to do with this Memphis like this shit. Like stay out of like you know what I'm saying like because they really be picking sides and choosy choosy Susies and shit like like nah nigga if it's if it's like that fuck all y'all nigga for real on everything stamp it damn big facts nah yeah I mean there's part of me that's like damn it would be great if you guys got back together or whatever but I mean honestly like 
dude Man. is a weirdo and it, at the end of the day it's just like the kind of person that's too emotional to even try to have like a real that relationship with even with your history you know what i'm saying because yeah. same with me like really real talk 20 2016 bro when i met x like xxx i had he, I, he was I, like, I, XXX was your biggest interview and right? i had at hashtag hollow squad in my fucking instagram bio and like yes. just to put into perspective how much i was rocking with him like when i interviewed dj paul what am i doing i'm playing his fucking video for him. I'm like Put, really yeah, showing him, real yeah. love, like the shit that like I would almost not do for anybody, for anybody at this point, yeah, you, know? you know. what I'm saying, like, and, and he just took totally hey, took that for granted and, and just I, got jealous I, of me getting into a different position. You I know, stamped, that's it, I that's remember. It. Let me stamp. I stamped this on great. When I first met Juice World, we was in the back of No Jump when he first yeah, bumped Lucy yeah. Dreams for yep. you on me. It uh -huh. wasn't even out yet. It was unreleased. He yep. was bumping that jump. I said, damn, that jump hard as hell. And hell. I seen yeah. a fucking video uh, yeah. on Twitter the other day I, of me and Juice World and, and Xavier standing right next to him. I was like, that's yeah. crazy. Uh, like, exactly, that was exactly, the day bro. I met him. Yeah. Yeah. Like a little cookout, little event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Crazy. Shit, like niggas, shit, 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 it's crazy how shit be turned out, man. Niggas be ego, shit be fucked up. Niggas be thinking they, 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 what they ain't, they is what they ain't. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. Like, if you was real, if he was real, bro, it wouldn't be no problem. You feel me? It, even with y'all, it wouldn't be no problem. Like, like with me, I wouldn't, I wouldn't never went about, went about like how I wouldn't get. Why would I get jealous of you doing an interview with anybody else? Or any of that type of shit. I don't give a fuck about it. what. Like, come on now. You worry about too many. You worry about other nah. posts too much, bro. And it's crazy because I, I I met and I had relationships with so many rappers, so much bigger than him that keep it so much realer. Yeah, yeah. In the face of shit, yeah. bro. I just I, uh, Fredo Bang just Facetime me, bro. I yeah. interviewed people that Fredo Bang do not get along with. I interviewed both sides Man. of the shit in Chicago. I interviewed people who got real murderous Man. ass beef, beef with each yeah. other, and they don't give a fuck that, about right. the fact of me doing right. my job. So the yeah, fact that right. that was my boy, like that and he was tripping over hey, tiny ass political ass shit fat, was yeah. just like bro you're, you're not a real person like, like, you're yeah, lame that's how you yeah. know he lame as fuck bro like that's how bitter you know as hell. bitter as hell like For real be bitter as yeah. fuck. Yeah. And I res I resent the whole thing of like, oh, I made you or whatever. It's yeah. like, bro, I kept my foot on the gas. Yeah. Like, yeah, you gave me a little tiny thing there. That's the thing. But, but yeah. I stayed on it. And meanwhile, your music fell off but, a fucking it, cliff. Man, exactly, bro. Like, and then he give it, then motherfucker get mad. You know what I'm saying? When a nigga he when, when he said nigga doing good, when he said like with you doing good, me. Anybody doing good, like bro, come on, bro, stay in your lane, bro. Like you know what I'm saying, stay doing, do what you do. Stop worrying about other motherfuckers and what they doing. You feel me, like? It's come a real on, uh, teaching moment for yeah. kids out there. Facts. <laughs> Don't get hey, caught up in your own no, ego. You know, mind your Big facts. business, stay mind, in your lane mind your yourself. business, stay in your lane, and you gonna be good. Okay. And this for the, all them little weak ass little fans, bro. Y'all stay like, bro. The fans that they be like. The fans be like, bro, they don't see, they don't really see how this nigga is for real. So mm -hmm. like, they think this man some type of, uh, like some type of tough guy or whatever. However, he be trying to portray his image of me. Nah, stop it, bro. Yeah, he he, he really he goes out of his way to not put his actual personality on the internet because the fans act like we be tripping when we're like, yo, yeah, you bro, you a molly head, man. you fucked up on drugs, whatever. They act like we're just making shit up. Yeah, like we just making shit up, bro. Like, like we, we actually, realistically, me and House of the Shit, we know hella shit about man. shit girls told us about, homie, know. that I'm not going to bring to the table because man. I don't really respect people who bring, do yeah. the pillow talking yeah, like that. I'm not going to talk bro. about shit with bitches. Big fat. I ain't got to speak on it. Speak on, if dude. they got something to say about you, they could say it. Facts. But my... My belief that you are a weirdo is cemented Understood. in stone. <laughs> Understood, bro. Like, shit, well, don't even bring, <laughs> don't even bring up no bitches, bro. Cause like, what? <laughs> Come on now. Come on. This could get bad. Like, man, Boy, get real. <laughs> can it? Can it? <laughs> Draw some cannonballs, man. <laughs> bro. We ain't even know, bro. We ain't know that, bro. Like, like, hurt about them. That's why I said I don't, I don't like, man. Y'all do y'all thing, like, uh, bro. Like, I like, shit ain't. I don't. We can ain't. I ain't trying to get on no songs. I ain't trying to do no show. I ain't got to do no, no show. I toured none, none of that, bro. Like, it's that shit done for. I got to ask you this. Throughout the whole time I've known you, there have yeah. been quite a few people who were riding the water wave, saying oh, yeah. water, making water songs, yeah, whatever. Yeah, It's understandable because it is the one thing that we're all drinking. drinking but, you know, yeah, you, yeah, you, you really family. coined water boys early on. And now it's gone as far as Quavo making a motherfucking Water Bro. Boys film. Bro, <laughs> Bro, 
Boot, uh, yeah, Quavo, Boosie, one of them. I ain't gonna lie, I seen no, I seen no say oh, cheese. It, that's Boosie shit. Quavo's just in it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, I seen okay. no say cheese and shit. I was just like, bro, like these niggas. That's why I got, I got my shit copyright trademark. Shit. Man, niggas been saying doing the trying to do the water shit, the water boy shit, bro. It's just like, bro, I been, I know these niggas see you, and I know they see what's up. I'm like, stop playing, like that shit straight me. I really started the water boy shit. I ain't even gonna lie. You know, I used to be you on the lane. You know, I used to no be on the lane heavy. Yeah, I was like, who the fuck think about name shit water? Man, You're from nobody Me else think of no damn water. Everybody from know. Memphis has to go through a lean phase. Man, I, you know, I, bro, <laughs> oh, I was yeah. on the lane heavy and shit. You're bro, lucky like, if, you, if you make it through like a couple man, of years. You look you know? fat. Chris, yeah, Chris I, had whooped my ass one day I stole his lean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he got mad as hell. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I used to be on uh, bro. I used and that to was when act was in the No, when act was around. Yeah, that's when the act was around. I was getting acts with cheese as hell. No, that was around. Paints. I was getting Acts for cheap as hell, oh, man. Baby, shit, make, oh, man, making fire around. ass music. You got mad at hell hell by yeah, that joint. I, man. You was about a four, too. <laughs> but then, you was like, about a four. Bro, I was, he was like, where the fuck my drink is? <laughs> I said, dang. <laughs> <laughs> but then I was just like, bro, I can't, like, I was just I was just on some lean shit. And I was, bro, I had, I think I had got dehydrated or some shit. And, like, bro. I was like, bro, I need some motherfucking water, like, bro, the, like water, water, okay. water, like, that shit helped. bro, that shit helped in there. I was just like, bro, so um, when I got back out here to Cali and shit, I was, I went to the beach, I went to the beach and shit, bro. I'm literally, I'm literally, I told, I'm literally, like, this how I came up with water, boys. I literally, I was, I was on the beach just looking at the water and shit. I'm like, I need to start like a movement or some shit, like, I need to start like a movement where like I can have my fans and shit, like, rep this shit. And fucking like, you know what I'm saying? Just rip this shit to the core. Cause like, I ain't wanna be like, and then a, a brand, really. I ain't wanna be no rapper without no like, hey, nothing to push, call my know? fans or like no brand or none of that shit. So I was like, bro, I just came up with Water Boys. When I think about you guys, I always think about like the flyers that the fans were making shit with Man, like hella the, Fiji's yeah, in it and look, shit. Yeah, bro, I'm telling you, <laughs> I used to, I, this is on, on Twitter. I fucking, uh, one, I was on the beach. I got I had me a Fiji water bar and I took a picture of it and I'm like, bro, everybody tweet me pictures of y'all drinking Fiji shit. Bro, this shit became a worldwide trend, bro. Like, this shit became a worldwide trend on Twitter. Everybody taking pictures of Fiji. Everybody doing the Fiji shit. Like, yeah. I ain't seen uh, motherfuckers like Young Lean putting the Fiji shit in his uh mixtape covers and shit. And I was just like, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this shit became a worldwide thing. Like, I was like, damn, like, it's crazy. So that's why I was like, oh, yeah, I got to take this water boy shit. Like, I got to take this shit all the way up because, like, I had motherfuckers doing drinking the water. I was making songs called H2O and, like, just making my shit, like, on some water shit. And then that's when, like, down the line, motherfuckers, rappers, they started doing all the water shit, making uh niggas uh, drinking water, doing the water boy shit. And I'm like, see, I be caught, I think, uh, well, I had gotten to it with uh, who was it? Uh, Young Gleesh. Yeah, Young Gleesh. I had gotten to it. Yeah, 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 Water. Yeah, yeah. Water. yeah, right. yeah. yeah. I ain't Don't gonna lie, Young Gleesh. Speak on it. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna, but, <laughs> but Young Gleesh, he was hard though. Young Gleesh was hard, but he got. We had gotten to it because I was like, bro, I'm doing nigga. What? What that water shit? But it was it was a whole different thing. Like, yeah, that's some shit that they just said. That's why I was and like, and then nah, let me throw some in the two loop. Let me throw some in the loop too. Then why? This nigga Zay invited this nigga to one of his shows. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, bro. You know he, bro. See, op shit like always, that. Yeah, mm. like you always mm. op. Mm. You know what I'm saying. Nigga Shout out Ugly man. God. He had a good water song. <laughs> man, you don't know fuck with Ugly God. Bro, that bullshit ass <laughs> I'll show you the DM from yesterday. <laughs> I'll show you the DM yesterday, man. man this literally <laughs> yesterday. This literally yesterday. What I just sent to Ugly God, bro. I'm like, bro. Hey, bro. You better stay out this shit on everything. My Did dude. he say like, something? Bro, he uh, I think he oh, retweeted uh, <laughs> I think this nigga retweeted one of Jeffrey's songs or something, something mm. like. I said, bro, look, my nigga, you better stay out this shit on everything. Like, get your, I know you, bro, you been high too. Where I don't even, I can't. Where you been, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, where you been at? Stop playing, bro. Like, come on now, like, stop playing, bro. Like. I just told him straight, like, I ain't even read his, what he sent back. He probably sent some shit back. I ain't even read. I'm like, bro, stop playing, bro. Stay out of this shit. I'm everything. Damn. The fuck he was war one of the, He was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was one of the motherfuckers still in the water shit, too, bro. Like, man, stop playing, bro. These niggas know. Uh, they they know they got this shit from me. Like, right. they know it, bro. Damn. Like, come on now. Shit real. Man. Um, 
All right, so what what's life like right now? What are you focused on? So right now, are you spending most of your time in LA still, or are you still in Memphis a lot? Uh, um, I be I be I'm 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 in LA. I'm in Miami. I'm I be going back to Memphis sometimes, shit. But right now, shit, I'm focused on my album, bro. I fucking um, you know what I'm saying. I ain't signed. I said I signed distribution deal. You know what I'm saying, like, and I'm just focused on dropping my albums and like just putting the pedal to the metal. I'm finna go on tour, and I got my album dropping next month, and so. I'm just putting pushing putting the pedal to the metal. I don't, I, I'm just staying focused. Like that's that's my main goal is just to stay focused and stay out the way from bullshit. And like I ain't even trying. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't like though I said I ain't gonna play with nobody. Like cause I ain't like I ain't, don't even bring up my name. Don't bring up my brand. I don't bring up nothing cause I ain't playing, bro. I'm pulling up. Like I ain't like I ain't nothing. Stop playing. For sure. Big fast. Like Rico. Rico what the fuck going on with you, man? Rico, he, he he dropping some shit. Rico dropping some shit. Hey, Trey Vans dropping some shit. Yeah, we on we this. Are, bro, yeah, we 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 we, we foot on the pedal. Like we 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 foot on the pedal. They they coming on tour and shit with me. Like they next up. You know what I'm saying? Like we just finna and you know me I got too. the Water Boys. And we t- I'm turning this shit to a label. And like you know what I'm saying? I'm just we just going up, bro. Like how long have you two known each other? Because I knew you mainly through the other guys at first, right? Or have you guys known each other just as long? Who? You two. Bro, this is my, my brother, blood, nigga. Brother. Literally? Yeah. My blood brother. What the fuck? I, I didn't know that. My blood brother. Whoa. Blood. I should have known that. Blood brother. Yo. Yeah, my blood brother. brother. Hey. Blood, that's cuz like bro. Don't be even like, that's your yeah, brother. yeah, yeah. But like same this mom and dad or just one? Just same, 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 same one, wow. but like, but like a lot, it's the a lot, same though. It's yeah, it's the, the same, it's the same, it's the same shit, it's the same, same. shit. Right, so really. yeah, a lot, yeah, 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 it's the same, yeah, it's the same, yeah, it's the same shit. So like a lot of a lot of people don't even know, a lot of people don't even know, like a lot of even fans, because I ain't never just came out like oh Ben Rico yeah, yeah. my brother, but like they know he with me, you know right. what I'm saying? Like they ain't just never came out like oh Ben Rico my brother, but like nah, like they already know, like and they and, and the real fans know though, the real wow. fans they know. Maybe so, I knew. I think I knew at one point and forgot. Yeah, you probably yeah you probably knew and forgot that shit. Hell yeah, but like yeah, it's my blood brother, bro. Like, but like that's why I said nigga ain't even finna play with none of us. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. None we of us it. like we own what we own it. Bro, all that. We got to get you like a social media manager or something because I feel <laughs> I like that, I feel like if Big Ro Rico was going crazy on TikTok bro, every day, yeah. he would be a celebrity Hell in like yeah. six months. Hell yeah, he would, bro. Want me fucking him up like that. And he, and he, <laughs> fun, and he funny like as that. hell, like. Yeah. Rico funny as hell, him bro. Like, like bro, like I don't even trying to be funny. Him, but he don't even be trying to be funny. He just be being him. You know what I'm saying? He like little baby though. We gotta get you out the streets. Hey, fast. We gotta get it. Yeah, that's what I'm <laughs> saying. I'm, I'm gonna got, be thug. I'm gonna yeah, give you ten thousand yeah, yeah, to come to the yeah. studio. I, 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 I ain't need him. I'm moving smooth. Yeah, he he ain't in the streets. Smooth dude. We making sure he ain't in the streets and he moving smooth, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? Smooth. You would never see me. You like Stevie now? Fast. Big fast. Like yeah, he ain't in the streets like that no more. Like. You know what I'm saying? Niggas staying out the way, man. We get to this bad. You know, big fact. Let you know me ask you saying? something. Y'all ever been to Dollywood? Dollywood. Dollywood. This is an amusement park that uh, Dolly Parton has. It's like an hour from Nashville or something. Nah. Uh, me and my girl did a did a week in Nashville, and then we went to. Uh, Pigeon Forge, I believe, is where Dollywood's at. Oh, hell yeah, yeah, hell yeah. So we were out there. I was wondering if y'all ever fuck with that. Nah, I ain't, yeah, I ain't gonna, I'm going to keep it real, bro. Nick, Memphis is like his I'm own just, city. We don't even be going yeah, to Nashville. Just, <laughs> yeah, only time yeah. I'm going to Nashville is if it's a homecoming yeah, or something. Like, yeah, if it's like, yeah, shit. yeah, if it's like some, like, you know what I'm saying, some shit going <laughs> on, but like, going, shit, we, we stay <laughs> like Memphis. I feel like, that's why people call, people don't even call ten, Memphis, Tennessee. Like, it's, yeah, just, Memphis. it's just straight Memphis. Bro, I had fried chicken in Nashville. <laughs> that made like I've been eating Popeyes thinking it was great my whole Damn, life. Nah, nah, I don't even I can't I can't even nah. eat it anymore. You're in the wrong nah, parts yeah. of the woods. You're, 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 Yo. you're in the wrong parts. You gotta come to Memphis. You're you're gotta, down. You that gotta, shit gotta, fucked me up. Like I can fully imagine nah, man, it man, right man, now. Boy, I can got, taste it. You gotta come to Memphis, man. You gotta come to Memphis and get you some. Okay, so when I was I was reading, I I saw that they said that you should be careful going to Memphis though because it has dark energy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, you agree yeah, with that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. In comparison sure. to a place like Nashville, to be honest, Nashville yeah. pr- felt pretty lighthearted. I'm yeah, sure, that, yeah, I'm sure oh, they got yeah. hoods, but yeah, I didn't see none of it. Like, yeah, Na- I mean, nah, Memphis, Memphis is going down where, any and everywhere. Memphis no is going down town, any and yeah. everywhere, like any and everywhere, and it, like anywhere, uh-huh. like you know what I'm saying, like 
That's why you know what I'm saying you got to move smart in Memphis for real. Like that's like that's what then that me growing up in Memphis, you know what I'm saying? That shit taught me a lot of shit early, you know what I'm saying? Like that shit taught me a lot of shit early, bro. Like in like anybody from Memphis, you know what I'm saying? They know, you know they know like it be you know what I'm saying? You got you got it be going down for real. Like but like, you know what I'm Mostly saying? Mostly cuz of him. <laughs> nah, nah, I see it. Hey, bro, Rico I, I, spins hey, the block. Nah, is all over. Nah, he's you filming can't. you outside the Seven Eleven. Man, man, it's it's niggas like that all around <laughs> Memphis. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't, like I ain't the only mastermind. Man, out there, hell man. yeah, it's the bro, man. It's man, so many. It's so many out there, boy. Like what? Like that's why they be shit. That's why. That's why. That's why we so big in hip hip hop right now. I believe, okay. bro, because like it's just so much pain and so much trauma. Like how much it hit you when Dolph got killed? Man, bro, I was I was like, damn, like I was like I was fucked up about this. Cause that was, was a real like, hero to the city, right? Man, yeah, hell yeah, Dolph, bro, yeah. Dolph was a staple, bro. Especially like yeah. we grew up, bumping yeah, we grew, I grew, we grew up, high school, Dolph. high that school. I, that when he put me on, he was in high school. I was still in middle school. I was in high school. I was still in middle school. I put him on Dolph. I I, I used to pull up to the school, bumping Dolph, like like you know what I'm saying, and, and that shit like. He was he was real deal a fucking staple for the especially for the independent artists like I mean because he was independent like real right. independent you know what I'm saying and he he made it to where he made it to you know what I'm saying and and to see him like you know what I'm saying go back to the city and that shit happened like this shit just fucked up I was just like bro I have a weird memory I don't remember why but I remember we went to a Yo Gotti performance at some point in our life right yeah and and you were like hella tapped in and you're pointing at people in Gotti's entourage right, and being yeah, yeah. like this is the dude who did this I'm like what the <laughs> fuck now, yeah, yeah. actually honestly now that stuff I probably would know regardless but at the time you were putting me on hella game so yeah nah I like nah, nah, nah yeah. About, I know, I, yeah I be knowing folks from America Memphis small shit you yeah. know I be knowing all, all them folks yeah Memphis small, folks. Memphis small as hell like you know what I'm saying Memphis, Memphis really small so a, man it it be like this, like if you, you if you know you like in Memphis, if you don't know somebody, you gonna know their family member. Somebody. You gonna know somebody. You gonna know somebody. They might be your damn cousin. They might be you your cousin. Know. You never know. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it it's just like that. Like that's how it, that's how it is in Memphis. And like you she know what I'm smiling. saying? Like it, it's it's small for real. You know what I'm saying? Like Memphis small, bro. And like shit, everybody know everybody. So that's how shit. Like you know what I'm saying? That's how shit be shit be. Going out, going down, cause everybody, everybody yeah. know everybody. Like you fuck you know? with Glorilla, yeah, I fuck with Glorilla. Yeah, she, yeah, Same. she turning up. Yeah, she hot. Yeah, she, she turning hot. up. Shout out to Hit Kid, bro. I ain't gonna lie, huh? I was one of the first rappers rapping on Hit Kid beats too. Stop playing with oh, me, word. man. Yeah, yeah, pioneer. Yeah, there we yeah. Go. facts, big facts. Shout out my hey, boy Hit Kid man. though. He going, he going crazy right now. Yeah. He going crazy. Thank Rico. Rico. Hit me with some fucking yeah. bars to just let the. Just to end this, something powerful, man. Right, so I need a sermon. Uh, you know, we have a whole lot of motion like the ocean, man. You yeah, know, we smoother man. than butter lotion, man. You yeah, better keep man. your bitch in check for I hit her with a couple strokes, yeah, you man. You know, man. pop a perk, put her back to work, you know. <laughs> These niggas yeah. end up a broken bitch or sent the bitch, man. You know, you know, you know. Stop playing, um, man. You start got, wrong. Yo. I love this guy. Yeah, yeah man. man. Water hey, man. boys, NT, man. No, no jump up. Bayroll, Rico, Memphis Trey Bay, Chris Travis, you we know what I'm saying? Bitch. Memphis to LA, yeah, nigga. The one and only coming I next am. month. Dropping next month. My God. Yeah. yeah. Shit on the way. I'm glad Big we got fact. to uh, catch up on camera. Honestly, it was Me great. Me too, bro. Because yeah. like, like I told you, bro, like we was we was long and overdue for an interview. Uh, yeah. Interview for real. Because like we was supposed to been did one. But I was, I, I, I just, bro, I, this is my first interview I did. That's in actually years. crazy, yeah. This is my first interview I did in years. Plenty of motherfuckers been hitting me up I'm to sure do an interview. Oh, you did I, do one back in the day, though? Or you did, what, you, what? did you do a couple back in the day? Bro, I did one About interview. Was it a group 17? interview or was it? No, it, it, was, it was one. I, okay, we did a group interview yeah, with yeah, uh, yeah. Montreal or some shit. Right, right. But I did one interview, and that was with Mass Gorilla. Because mm. they they booked a show with uh, uh, me and Rob Banks and shit. And, and, and like, uh, I did that interview, and that was like my... Last interview for real, crazy. So yeah, man. Shout out, no jumper, water boys, ent, man. You already know what the fuck going on, man. My Shout man. out to the yeah. city.
Appreciate y'all for real. Hell yeah, I appreciate you, Adam. Man, you came a long way. I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> appreciate y'all for real. real. That shit inspiring. Pleasure bro. time. Yeah, everybody, go turn my guys up on uh, all streaming services and yes, YouTube, sir. et cetera. Yes, yeah. sir. All that Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, all that. The Instagram. new stuff, the classics. Tap and in. The new no shit, cap. the classics. Stay all updated. that shit. Stay updated. Kissing Travis. Bang, Bang Rodrigo, Rodrigo. Trey Bang. Trey Bang. Stop playing. Nah, yeah. Fuck you, the bad. Stamp. Yeah. Let's go. Appreciate you guys. No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. Check us out on YouTube, TikTok, Patreon, Instagram. Like, comment, and subscribe. Nojumper.com if you want to support. Appreciate y'all. Tap in. Yes, sir.